Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Utopia Cubed server. Uh, we are here tonight with Bevo and Mime. Uh, I'm not gonna sure. I'm, I'm not sure I'll do much with them tonight. I think uh, Bevo's recording right now as well. Um, yeah, I've done quite a bit uh, in between episodes, and we're ready to go on something brand new. We're gonna go down the rabbit hole today with Ender IO. Yeah, a new mod that's come out for this version, and it's really exciting stuff. Um, Bevo's done a ton of spotlights with it and used it in his series, and I think it looks very, very cool. So that's the plan for today, uh, and also along with that to get a quarry going. So we've got a lot to do. Uh, you'll notice here my Thomcraft stuff is gone. I've got two little new armor statues. <laughs> this is just my ar junk armor that I'm not using anymore. Um, and I've got this awesome map. This thing is cool. Uh, I went and mapped out six areas around my base. So there's my nice little tower here, and then we've got this island. And uh, yeah, all to ourselves pretty much. Um, so where did the Thomcraft stuff go? Let's look down here. There it is! Wow! <laughs> this all appeared out of nowhere, didn't it? Well, this is the magic level. Um, I've got the infusion crafting area right here. I've got my, uh, Alembics. I've got my wand recharge stations with a couple, um, nodes that I've moved in here. If this looks cool, uh, then you'll definitely want to check out my Magic Bear series. I'm going to do all of these mods, explain how they all work, and how you build this thing and get all the cool stuff I have, like uh, these really cool boots. Yeah, look at those. Uh, they don't have a very good enchant on them right now because I ran out of levels, but yeah. And we, uh, if you want to look at something cool, I think I'm first on, server first for this here. So, Thaumaturgy is completely researched, Alchemy, Artifice, Golem and Sea. Every single one is completely done. So even uh, even uh, Magic Bees and Railcraft, I have no idea why Railcraft has a Thaumium crowbar in here, but then even Thaumium Extras. So I'm completely done with research for Thaumcraft. I can build anything I want now from that mod. Uh, if we go down, continue to go down. Um, this is where the portal was. I've taken it out right now. Um, and actually I <laughs> dropped the book in water, so the book to the Underdark is gone. I'll have to go make a new one. And then down here, I've got two new area or a couple new floors. And there's even a pink sheep on that floor. Interesting. Um, so I've got this floor again. The cobble and woods temp placeholder. I haven't built uh, whatever or determined what material I'm going to build these floors with. But I've got that one, and then that's going to get an opening. And this one's got a little bit of a larger opening. And I'll kind of put a put a railing around so you don't fall off. And then here's the basement level with our rabbit hole that we're not going to end up using. I might put some clear glass to just seal that off so I don't fall down there, but leave it there for memory's sake. <laughs> so if we go look out here, you can see how this is going to look, but basically um, this is actually the side. I think I'm going to have like a, like a railway that might go through here. I might connect a, a train and go right through that mountain <laughs> to, to Nicholas's base. I still got to talk to Nicholas and see if he would like to do that, have a train station go into his base. And then maybe over to some of the others, like over to Toast or over to Dam Sky along the water. So that might be what this platform is for. Um, but the main entrance, I'm going to get rid of this little tree farm here and have this here as the main entrance. It'll have some glorious doorway or something, I don't know. And then it's going to have that level and then this kind of inner level. And then the, the cube, the triangle cube. I wonder what shape this is. I wonder if there's a mathematical term for what shape this is. Probably not, but anyway. I like it. Um, I went and got some silverwood, so we've got some uh, silverwood trees here. I don't think I got any any of them to glow or grow me a node. Oh well, I might chop them down again and plant them. And nothing else much has changed. So let's get started with uh, with Ender IO. And go ahead and go up the elevator. And I think I'm gonna do. I've got all my ICU2 stuff here. I'm going to completely redo this um, layout. I know I'm losing a lot of energy because I'm using too much uh, copper cable. Um, so I want to probably upgrade to a higher cable and also have some you know, transformers and that kind of thing. And maybe some better storage than a bat box. But that'll be another day. Um, so ICU2 is going to go over there. Maybe some forestry in the middle. And then I'm going to do Ender IO over there. So let's get started with that. I'll also have some build craft. Uh, Probably some in the middle, maybe do an assembly table. Come on, can we go up or down, please? There we go. Okay, so Ender IO, let's get this looked up in here. Ender IO, look at all these machines. Uh, it's kind of got a lot of its own machines as well. So you've got the smelters, you've got some furnaces, you've got some batteries, you've got some uh, 
uh, like mass reader type things. Uh, but the first thing I want to start with, um, just like every mod, is the base of the generator, how you get your energy. It's going to take some uh, stone bricks, I think, just any stone bricks. Yeah, it looks like any kind of stone bricks around a furnace, a piston, and a basic gear, which is cobble with sticks. Or was it just, yeah, two basic gears. So let's get all that stuff that we need. We're going to need some cobble. We're going to need some stone. We'll need some wood. Uh, piston's going to take some redstone and some iron. Probably not that much iron. <laughs> okay. Let's make the uh, piston first. Look at me, I now know this recipe by heart. No more messing this guy up. <laughs> I messed it up. I don't know why I do that. Okay, something's wrong. Oh, I'm using compressed cobblestone. <laughs> I was like, come on, did I really just claim to know the recipe and then mess it up? Okay, so I had it right, I just... Wrong material. There we go. All right, piston. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. Uh, okay, two gears. Uh, I need some sticks first, don't I? Okay. And then a furnace. And some stone bricks. Okay, let's put it all together and see what we get. Sterling generator. Okay, so this is going to go up again on the orange floor. Come on. I'm going to try and kind of mirror it. So we're going to have solar panels out this way. And then that'll go into kind of a battery. And then kind of do just like this, we'll have our generator right there. So let's put the generator right there. And let's go ahead and start it gaining a little bit of energy. Do I bring any coal or charcoal with me? No. Okay, let's go get some. Uh, where are you? Down here. Let's bring a full stack of coal. I've got 39 blocks of it there. And I'm going to bring a chest as well, just to store any Ender I.O. related things. I need to sort these four chests, they're just like the junk chests. No real sorting to them. Okay, so let's go start this melting, or burning, combusting, whatever you want to call it. Oop, didn't want to go that high. Oh gosh, <laughs> sometimes server lag gets me here. Uh, okay, so that just here. Okay, it's gonna be this cool competing IC2 versus Ender IO. Who will win? <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna burn some coal. One thing cool about Ender IO is it's got an internal buffer, so it's gonna start slowly gaining. I can hold 10,000 MJ on its own. So I can probably hold maybe. Let's give it eight. Uh, eight coal. Well, that's gonna be nine because it's already burning one. Okay. Uh, maybe it's got an upgrade here to go faster, and you can turn it on and off with the redstone signal. So, cool. And it's got a cool little red glow. That's pretty. Ah, that's kind of scary. I'm getting out of here. Um, okay, what's next with Ender.io? Let's go with the uh, alley smelter, I think. I'd like to get things like this battery. Uh, but this battery takes these double layer capacitors. Um, what else does it take? It took something else here. Tin, tin, block of redstone. Oh, I should probably make these. Basic capacitors, electrical steel. Oh yeah, that's it. So I need an alloy smelter to get this electrical steel. So that's the first thing we're gonna get. And that is a basic capacitor, machine, machine chassis, furnace, stone bricks, and copper. This guy, some redstone, gold, and copper as well. So well, how am I doing on copper? Oh, we got plenty of copper. Okay, so copper, redstone, let's do a couple things of gold, stone bricks, we still got cobble. I think that was about it, right? Machine chassis is iron and iron bars. There we go, and iron, okay. Ready to go. Let's make one of these um, basic capacitors. Sure, we'll make two of them. Okay, make a one of those. I 
I'm probably going to need a couple, so grab four. Uh, furnace. And we're good to go. Alloy smelter. Sweet! Let's put this guy up here. And I'm going to put him... It's not going to match, but for now, because I don't have any cables to run, I'm going to put him right there. Now, because they're next to each other, he should receive power. And he is. He's getting power. Okay, so for here, we've got three inputs and one output, and then these other modes. So right now, he's in furnace mode, so he's just going to smell like a normal furnace. Um, this one, he's in alloys mode, so he'll only do alloys in this one. Oh, this one is all modes. Okay, so we can do alloys, furnace recipes, or all recipes. So we'll put them on all. That way, he can do either one. And let's work on this capacitor bank. Actually, do we want some wires first? Yeah, I think so. So to do transfer MJ, we want these energy conduits. And they take conduit binder, which is smelting of gravel, sand, and clay. OK. Oops. I <laughs> went up when I went to go down. Come on. OK, so some gravel, some sand, and clay. Where do I got you, clay? Uh, not seeing it. I thought I had some. Did I put it with the clay bricks? There it is. All right, let's uh, take a couple more. I'll just break these guys down. Still haven't gotten a nice sword or a nice uh, shovel. Oh well. I do have a nice axe. Look at this hatchet. It's a uh, Thomic. We got a new version of Tinkers on here today or yesterday. Two days ago? I don't know. <laughs> what day is it? Um, but I put I put a thomic handle, uh, so it got th a thomium gives you an extra uh, enchant. Basically, it's kind of like paper, but it has a high durability as well. So, yeah, I use thomium now. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this. Oh, I'll use this crafting table. Go ahead and make some of this binder a composite. Let's do full stack and then we'll smelt is this useful for anything else no smelting is the only thing it does so there you go you can see how this furnace goes hmm, it's about a normal speed of a furnace I'd say maybe a little slower I don't know okay but that's gonna give us this uh, conduit binder which we use for all pretty much a lot of the other piping things, fluid conduits, energy conduits, that kind of stuff. But now we need this conductive iron, which is smelting iron with redstone. So let's go ahead and say, does this keep one? Yeah, it keeps the one it's working on, perfect. So iron and redstone, as soon as this guy's done, he should. There we go. Now I'll work on that guy. Oh, it's two redstone for one iron, so we need some more redstone. Um, I ran out of iron, too. Okay. Oh, I love that map. It's so beautiful. All right. We just, do we get one bar? So it's like one to one with iron, maybe? Come on, there it goes. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit to get this conductive iron, because I think it's gonna burn faster. Let's look at these, is this a battery slot or a speed slot? I bet it's just a battery slot, because I'm not seeing any other things that would like upgrade it. Powered light? That looks cool. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else to upgrade these, so I'm wondering how do you make this thing go faster? Because if I can't make it go faster, not a lot of purpose to it other than, I guess, melding alloys. You have to do it. Okay, well, we'll get one more of these and we can make our, our pipes. And then we'll work on our battery. 
can start prepping that. Tin, redstone, and these double conduits. So, tin, redstone. That was a redstone block, wasn't it? New, you. you. We need more of those. Give me more of those, yeah. Okay. We need the steel, which is iron, silicon, and coal. Silicon. Oh, a sag mill. We gotta go with a the sag mill then, I guess, apparently. Which we can get from sand, redstone, or clay. Okay, sag mill. You are. Where are you? There you are. Uh, machine chassis we got, basic capacitor, iron, so we just need some flint in that one's a piece of cake. Oh, I saw my flint. I saw my flint in both places. Okay. Where are you? Sag mill. What am I missing? Iron? Yeah. Go put this guy down, and then we'll run some of these wires here. So let's put the uh, the furnace here to match that, and then sag. Oh, that's not what I said. How do you break these guys? Okay, <laughs> no wrench required. Awesome. All right, so let's get uh, these guys Go over here and make some of this. Conduit. Perfect. Alright, so that should be able to come out of our furnace. Yep. Oh, look at this thing. It's like tiny. Oh, it's a little baby conduit. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. And are you out of power? Good. I wanted you to be out of power. Burn your last one here. Oh, he's probably giving power to you. You're stealing all his power. Alright, come on. Get done. I want to move ya. Do, 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 do. The slowest alley furnace ever. There you go. Okay. Okay. I am horrible on inventory here. Uh, what can I throw on the ground? Some nuggets. Put my smelter right here. Okay. There we go. Generator, you can have some more coal. And you need to do some nice steel now. Or no, we were wanted... Oh, sag mill, that was it. So while we're getting our silicon, you can keep doing iron and redstone. All right, and you are going to take some uh, clamp, sand for now. Then we'll put some clay in you. Sounds good. I wonder if it goes faster based on how much storage it has, maybe? Who knows? Organize you guys a little better. There we go. Where'd it go? I swore there was sand. Is it just like a chance to get silicon, maybe? Oh, it takes a lot more power to get it out of sand. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Let's use clay. Um, was that the best one? Yeah, clay is the best. Cheapest, anyway. And you get four silicon. Yeah, so clay is definitely the way to go. Yeah, that was super fast. Why is this refined ironing it? That's not right. <laughs> it just it just cooked the iron without the redstone. So I guess it does depend on where you put this stuff. So let's 
turn this on allies only. Yeah, I only want allies out of this guy. Where is the output? What the heck? Why is this not making anything? Clay dust? That's all you got me? Really? This it says you're supposed to make clay and silicon. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Do my best villager impression. Hmm. What the heck? Okay, maybe I should have watched Bebo's videos a lot closer. Um, someone didn't pay attention. I don't know. Alright. On second thought, we're going to turn you guys off because I don't want you stealing power. Do you need something else? Like water or something? That's all you're giving me. What do I use clay dust for? I centrifuge it into silicon dioxide, into crystal memory, <laughs> into a pattern storage. Okie dokie. Hey, there we go. We got some. Okay, some silicon. Um, I'm full again here. Stone brick. How much silicon did we need for this uh, steel? So one coal, one iron, one silicon. Iron and coal. Okay, oh, we got some more. Now it's doing it. Maybe it like had to heat up or something? <laughs> I don't know. I think we need another generator or another power source. How much is it for the uh, solar panels? Coal dust, more alloy. Oh, 14. that's a lot. These things aren't easy to build, and these are nether quartz smelting. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut camera real quick. I'm going to build another generator just so we can get some more power going in there. And I'm going to build another alloy smelter just so we have two because we're going to be making a lot of different kinds of allies. I don't want to wait for one to do the other. So let's do that. I will be right back guys and I'll just double up those two machines. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I lied. I went with four generators and with four of them running, these machines light up a little bit more so I think they're running a lot faster. They're not kind of hampered by the, the speed or by their power. So I might even add more or once I get the, some of uh, this, so, excuse me, solar panels I should be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and make one of those um, batteries now. So I need four of these guys, which are the electrical steel, which I already got. Basic capacitors, do I have? Oh, I don't have enough of those. Let's add more basic capacitors, which I need more gold for. Finally, a mod that's like kind of gold intensive. It's been a while. More of these. Where are you? 12 of you? Sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'll need them sometime. Okay, and it was nice because I had some coal dust left over from IC2, and I got the electrical steel now. So we got four of those guys now. Put them into a battery with tin and a block of redstone. Okay. Now these batteries, from what I hear, are really cool. They can kind of, they're like a multi-walk almost, so you can just stack them on top of each other or next to each other or whatever, and they just kind of build up. Uh, I tried to get some help from Bevo on these because they're just so slow, and he was AFK. Oh, he says there are upgrades, okay. So now we have input and output, 100. Are we getting any storage at all? Looks like as soon as it's going in, it's getting used, right? Yes, no. Oh, this one's out of silicon. That's why you're not working. 
If you put capacitors in them, they are super fast. Okay, so that maybe, let's try it. So basics won't fit. We need the red ones. Or maybe I just right click on them, shift click. I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at it running now. It's going, yeah. Oh, okay. So they already have a basic rest capacitor, basically. Okay. So let's get some more steel and make one, of, one more of those red ones and see how fast they are. Oh, we got two of them. Sweet. All right. So you upgrade a second. Okay. Perfect. So you go in there. Awesome. Now nah, look at it draining. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. And then the third tier is two of those plus phased alloys, which is energetic alloy and ender pearl. Okay, we'll do that another time. Double speed and power. Okay. Ah, awesome. That's great to know. So maybe if I put one here, it'll double how fast it burns, maybe? I don't know. Um, okay. So if I get higher than 100 input, I have to double up these batteries so it can take more than 100. That's fine. Right now, how much do these output? Doesn't say. <laughs> okay, I'll have to find that out. Um, oh well. Should we do? Should we try and do some some photo voltaic voltaic photo voltaic? There we go. <laughs> Cells. Uh, we need energetic alloys: gold, redstone, glowstone. Okay, and we need some quartz. So, gold, redstone, glowstone, quartz. I'm going to get these cooking and then I'll come back and make the daylight sensors and that kind of stuff. So, I uh, don't have room. I think it was glowstone on that side. Um, gold in the middle, redstone on the side. Yeah. Redstone, glowstone. Where's my gold? There we go. Okay. That's working. Still having problems. Oh, I need more coal. Well, I happen to have some more coal in my hands. Do I have more of these available? Yeah. I can get another one. Two more, sweet. So let's put that in here and see what happens. Stores more, do you burn faster, hopefully? I hope he burns faster. <laughs> I for sure don't need more storage, that's for sure. Okay, so we got one energetic, here's two energetics, and then you guys, you're gonna switch to doing nether quartz for me. I don't know why I couldn't pull that out. And I'm not sure if that's an alley recipe or if I need to switch that to furnace recipes. I guess I can just switch it to all, then it doesn't matter. Love new mods, guys. Definitely love doing new mods. All right, we need more coal, more coal. <laughs> Up on the roof. Here we go. I love my rain stopper, noise stopper thing. It's awesome. What are we going for? Coal. Um, wow, we're gonna have to get some some kind of charcoal producer or something because we're gonna run out if we keep doing this. So 16 for you. A bunch for you and a bunch for you. How can you not be... Switch this? No, okay. Uh, in between episodes, I'm gonna make more batteries. I'll make more red, red cells, that kind of thing. 
to upgrade the rest of these. Maybe even make more generators. I don't know. Is there any other thing to get? Well, the thing is, this is MJ, right? So I can do forestry engines or buildcraft engines. No problem. Hmm. I really wanted to do a quarry, but I think that's going to wait till next episode. Because we're going to need a lot more power. <laughs> these guys are not cutting it. These generators probably are doing like 2 MJ or something. Oh, we could get an MJ reader. Let's do that. Uh, wow. What do I have? I have a conduit. I have electrical steel. So I need to make an ins this red one. Okay, that's going to have to wait. Maybe I'll do that in between just to see how much MJ are coming out of these things. And then we will get going. But, okay. Do I have enough to make this now? Quartz? Have you made me any quartz? No. Oh. You weren't making quartz because your input was full. You need more redstone, huh? Apparently. I don't know. Alright, there's a fused quartz. Need one more, please. Alright, we got the coal powder. Daylight sensor. Let's go make one of those. Inventory is a mess. I'll clean it up later. Alright, so we need some slabs. We need some... I don't know if I've ever made one of these. Nether quartz and glass. How can I get rid of stone? Oops, glass on the top. Nether quartz. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I came up here. I could have just crafted it there. But can we build one of these now? No. Alright, you there. Oh, I'm still waiting on the other one. Okay. And we'll go get our last piece of nether quartz crystal glass stuff. That must be a furnace recipe because it gave me XP. And we got our first photovoltaic cell. Awesome. Let's do the same thing then. Let's just kind of break a... Whoa, that was... <laughs> this pick is very strong. Oh, I don't have an inventory. I don't need more conduit. Darn it. So... How does this guy work? We'll put him... Yeah, so come out here, so he'll go here, yeah. And then you'll go here. Sweet, okay. I'm gonna make some more conduits, make some more cells, make some more batteries, and next time we'll be able to go a little bit further with Ender.io. Um, really, the, the whole point of this mod that I feel is to use these uh, um, conduits. There's all different types. There's redstone, there's fluids, and there's MJ you know, pipes. And they all fit, I didn't really get to show that, but they all fit in one square. So you don't have to have like tons of pipes all over the machine. So it makes them very clean. And it also, um, there's, there's ways you can hide it, almost like facades, but you hide them in other blocks. So it makes a really nice looking interface. So we didn't get a lot to it. We kind of just did the beginning of Ender.io. We did go down the rabbit hole a little bit because I went into it knowing very little. <laughs> Other than Bebo said it's really cool. And I knew kind of the aim of the objective of the mod. But I didn't really know how to how to make them or how to do that kind of stuff. So that's what the series will be if, if you guys enjoy that. That's what Down the Rabbit Hole is all about. Jumping into a mod feet first, trying it out, making, failing, <laughs> figuring out the, 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 the cool things about the mod. This has been FunshineX for Utopia Cubed. Join me next time and we'll do some more Ender.io. Catch you guys later. Bye.